Hello, hello, this is Derek from One Ver T. I wanted to shoot a really quick video on how to open and break up tea cakes. As One Ver T, this is our first year carrying tea cakes. We have a couple white tea cakes from Fuding and a couple Laos Gushu Shengpur tea cakes and Gushu Hongcha or black tea cakes. Since we've never carried them before, I thought I'd do a really quick introductory video on how to break up tea cakes at home either with professional tools or whatever you have at home. So let's check it out. First, there are a few things you'll need when breaking up a tea cake. You want to do it on a table or on a level surface. You don't want to be breaking up the tea cake in air because you lose a lot of control. So what you want is a table to work on and a tea tray if you have it. This is a professional tea cake breaking up tray. As you can see, it has walls, it even has a funnel for the tea. If you don't have one of these, what you can use is a large dinner plate. As you see, it has enough space to work on. It's a lot easier to work on than just on the paper because also if your paper has a beautiful design on it, you don't want to risk ripping and tearing the paper. The second thing you'll need is a tea pick. As you can see, we'll be sending these out with orders of tea cakes. They're very, very useful tools. As you see, it has a needle-like shape and a flat head. Something, if you don't have a tea kit or a tea pick at home, what you can use is a flathead screwdriver. As you can see, they have very similar shapes. A needle-like shape with a flat protuberance. This helps when poking and splitting up the tea. What you don't want to use is a knife. Knives are really terrible at breaking up the tea cake. They're for totally different purposes and you risk cutting yourself severely with it. So really avoid using any kind of knife when breaking up a tea cake because you'll cut yourself. I've cut myself before trying this and really it's much better to use a screwdriver if you don't have a professional tea pick. The second rule about this, when breaking up the tea cake, when you're pushing in, make sure that you're not pushing towards your fingers at all. You, want, you can push along with your fingers, but at no point should the point of the tea pick be facing your fingertips because it's very easy to slip and puncture your skin. So when breaking up your tea cake, remember first rule, be safe. All right, let's unwrap these babies and I'll show you how to break them up with a tea pick and with a screwdriver. So let's check it out. Okay, let's start with the 2018 by Mudan. This is an aged white tea. Let's start by unwrapping it. And this time we'll use the professional tea pick. So what we'll do is we'll look along the cake for any weak edges or weak entry points. This is usually along the edges of the tea where the tea leaves lay flat upon each other. We'll do three incisions and then begin levering the tea. As you see, I'm not trying to tear the leaves. I'm trying to keep as many whole leaves as possible. Let's weigh out this little chunk and see how much it was. Oh, only about two grams, 0.5. So we'll need more. Again, I do one, two, three incisions, and then lever the tea and pull it off. What I'm looking for is about six to seven grams to use in my 100 milliliter gaiwan. Okay, let's try the same thing again, this time with the 2018 Shomei, another aged white tea cake. Let's unwrap it. This time what we'll do is we'll use the screwdriver instead of the professional tea pick, but we'll use the same methodology, looking along the edges for a weak entry point and inserting the flat head. As you can see, it's already a little more difficult to get our one, two, and our three puncture points before levering the tea. I'm already breaking a lot more of the tea leaves. This is not as useful as the tea pick, the professional tea pick, but it is still serviceable. Let's see how much we got in that first break. This kitchen scale is incredibly useful for brewing gong fu tea. It looks like we only have about three grams. We'll need a little more. Again, insert the tea pick, lever the tea, pull off the chunk. Try not to break any leaves. And here we are, about seven grams. Okay, that wraps up the video of using a flathead screwdriver and a core tea pick to break up a cake of tea. As you saw, the flathead screwdriver did not do as well as the actual tea pick that's made for breaking up tea cakes. So our recommendation, if you do have a tea cake, invest in a tea pick. These tea picks cost very, very little, three to five dollars they should be. If you buy a cake from us, we'll include one with your order. So really just be safe and use the right tools if you're going to get into it. As you see, we're able to come up with just over six grams of nice chunks of tea. 
and this is how you how you break up a tea cake and you leave whole leaves. As you saw, we did a little bit of prying, of pulling. We weren't just cutting or breaking the leaves. So if you like this video, please give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and visit OneRiverTea.com to check out the different tea cakes that we're offering this year and in the years to come. So again, this is Derek from One River Tea, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.